No, I think that would be plenty. opened up the second stall where it had the feed so if I had just turned it open and let them in there they would have had this huge bin of grain to chow down on so I'm trying to make sure I'm catching all of the details all the way down you're gonna follow the fence all the way down make your rope longer please it is not perfect it is cheap as cheap as a $50 hooker. We all know how cheap that is. The expenses afterwards are the big expenses. You're saying we're walking away with STDs in this place? <laughs> Probably. Interesting. Maybe we'll be pregnant too, I don't know. Huh. We'll just push through the fence hey, rather Connor. than walk around. He's actually pushing through the fence. <laughs> rather than... Right, keep the world out. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, he's gonna get hurt. <laughs> Do you want me to go grab him and bring him out here? No. Hey, you figured it out. Okay, oh, back up. scary. Oh, it's scary. I, can't, I can hide behind the fence pole. The fence pole will keep me safe. Right. Well, I'm better with them doing this than I am about them running around in circles and hitting fences. So. And I think it's cute this way. It's just not very normal behavior for an Arabian. <laughs> not to be like, death and freedom. I will choose both. This one just chooses freedom. No, death. <laughs> yep, he really doesn't want to be back here. Come here, Paige. So it was very um, 
what's the word? Um, non-dramatic, anticlimactic. Uh, I was sure that at least Gunner was going to do something silly. So we did walk the perimeter as you always do with animals so that they can see the fence so they don't run through them. So they know where the perimeters are. But they just wanted to eat grass, which makes me happy. I want them to stick with the fresh grass, not the old grass that has been cut because the old grass that has been cut does have foxtails in it. There's no way to get around that. Nobody in the area has good hay this year. So whether we buy hay or put them out here in the pasture, there's foxtails. We just have to brush their teeth every time we come out and um, hope that they will be as level-headed later as they are being now. They have been super calm. There is, There was a little bit of grass in their old paddock, so it's not like grass is new to them. I'm glad we didn't put them out any later because then the grass would be a little bit taller at which point you have a much greater chance of them foundering. If, they're, if the grass is too lush, when they get exposed to a lot of it all at once, you'll, you'll have them founder. They get laminitis, it messes their feet up. Where is she? Where is, there she is. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna do one more walkthrough because when Gerardo, our friend Gerardo here, came and fixed the fences um, and just kind of double checked that everything was as it should be, he, he very kindly opened up the stable doors and opening up the stable doors there was one it's not our grain it's somebody else's grain um, anyway there's grain in a big old bucket in here and I don't know what kind of grain it is maybe it's chicken feed maybe it's sawdust I don't really know what it is but it was in that side stall and would have been accessible to the horses which would have killed them so, I just kind of want to look at it and make sure if the horses lean on these, they pop out. So he took the original ones, he took the original ones and put those back in and they're just, they're, they're just not quite big enough. They don't quite fill the hole. So if the horses came in and pushed on that, it would come undone. So I, I think I'm going to take a piece of twine. I'm going to take a piece of twine and rewrap that just because I, that way at least it'll hold on a hinge if they do decide to push on it. So where would the string be? It's not much, but it's something. I had somebody in one of the last videos talk about how I never have my animals in nice places, that I never have nice accommodations for my animals. And um, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about that because um, there's nice and then there's um, over the top. This is adequate and at some of the more expensive places that we have looked into for our horses, it wasn't any better than this as far as the actual shelter, the stalls, and the paddock here is much larger, much nicer than what we saw at other places. The other places in the area, they would have had a very small walkout, very similar to this, and they would have had a group pasture that had almost no grass in it. And out here, these guys have like two, Maybe, this may be two acres. So, the horses have that whole maybe two acre pasture, plus the one we had them in before, because they just have so much property back here. One of the reasons we're looking so carefully at what the fences look like and what the outbuildings look like at these houses we're, we're going through is because we kind of like to graduate from that bare bones animal shelter life. We'd like to graduate to adequate, beyond adequate, um, and something that's really easy to maintain.